Hello friends, welcome to my channel Techno Sujata. So today we are going to learn how to use SVG graphic tag in HTML. Before proceeding how to use, let's first understand what is SVG. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. SVG is used to define vector based graphic. It is WCC recommended. Also it has several methods for drawing rectangles, circles, paths etc. So let's see the advantage of using SVG image over PNG or JPG image. This is PNG image. If you try to resize or zoom it, the image will be pixelated. But if you try to zoom the SVG image, it will not lose any quality on higher resolution. So let's see how to use SVG tag in HTML. I have created SVG tag HTML file for this session and also added the document type structure. First we will add svg tag along with the width and height attribute. You need to pass the numbers in both attributes. We will first see how to draw circle using svg. For that let's add circle element. For drawing a circle we need to add cx and cy attributes. It defines x and y coordinates of center of a circle. If you are not adding this attribute it will be set as a 0 0. Every circle has a radius so let's add a radius with the R attribute. After saving let's see the result on browser. Our CX and CY attribute values are higher so let's change the values of width and height attribute so our circle will be fit inside of our SVG element and see the result on browser. Let's change the color of circle by adding fill attribute. You can add your favorite color and see the result on browser. Along with the fill color, if you want to add a border, then just use stroke and stroke with attribute. Inside stroke attribute, you just need to add color and for stroke width, just add number. You can see the result on browser along with the fill color and border width. Some of the browser does not support SVG like I lower version. In that case, you can show the text instead of shape like this. So friends, we have created circle shape using SVG element. Let's create a rectangle shape. For creating a rectangle shape, first we will add SVG element with width and height attribute. For drawing rectangle, let's add rect element with width and height attributes. In the browser, you can see a rectangle with black fill color. If you want to change the color, just use the style attribute with the fill color. And you can see the result on the browser with red fill color. Like a circle, if you want to add a border, you can use the same attribute stroke and stroke width for adding border. And you can see the result with the bluish border. If you want to move rectangle from a left position, just add the x attribute with some values. It will add some space before rectangle. Likewise, you can add y attribute to place the rectangle from top position. You can add more styling to the rectangle with stroke opacity and fill opacity. You just need to add numbers between 0 and 1. Let's save and see the result with the opacity colors. If you want round corners for the rectangle, just add Rx and Ry attribute and you can see the results on a browser with rounded corners. So friends, we draw the rectangle shape with all attributes. Let's jump to next ellipse shape. Ellipse shape is a similar to X shape. It has a different X and Y radius. Ellipse element is a used to create ellipse shape. Let's add CX and CY attributes to define X and Y coordinate of center of ellipse. And then RX and RY attribute. RX and RY attribute defines horizontal and vertical radius of ellipse. You can see the result on the browser with black fill color. You can change fill color and stroke of ellipse with fill stroke and stroke with styling. See the result on browser with a different fill color and stroke color. You can combine more than one ellipse by giving different attributes and colors. On browser you can see I have just combined more than one ellipse. After ellipse let's see how to draw line using SVG. Let's add SVG with height and width attribute. Line element is a used to draw line in SVG. Let's add required attributes in line element. X1 and X2 define start and end line on X axis. Similarly, Y1 and Y2 define start and end line on Y axis. Every line element need to specify stroke and stroke with color so it will be visible on browser with specific stroke color. 
friends let's wrap up the video for now we have seen in this video how to draw circle rectangle ellipse and line shape using svg element we will see remaining shape in next video till then keep learning bye bye